content. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cracked. My name is Pagan. So, what's the crack with Cult of the Lamb? After needing a break from the spoopies and doopies of Dead Space, oh my god! Ah! 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 I decided that it was time to play a game that I had been looking forward to for ages. Cult of the Lamb, a roguelike action adventure that combines the coziness of a farming sim slash base management game with a dark and twisted vibe. And that's just how we like our vibes over here on Cracked. Dark and twisty. Starting out as a little sacrificial lamb that is brought back from the dead by the one who awaits, who then asks you to raise a cult in his name, I quickly learned that this game was going to play me for the absolute sucker that I am. You see, Cult of the Lamb is a perfect game for someone like me, who is at heart a people pleaser. Chuck, I'm Irish. I don't like conflict. I just want everybody to get along and I want to be liked and have a nice farm and a cup of tea. So when Daddy Satan does me a solid and brings me back from the dead and then asks me if my answer is yes or absolutely to starting a cult in his name, you know for damn sure that I'm going to overachieve the shit out of that agreement. We have a deal. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely we do. Absolutely I do. Good. Good. Excellent. And the game plays me like a fiddle from there on out. As you venture on your crusades against the gods of the old faith in order to set free your master, you come across poor defenseless animals on the brink of death or being sacrificed and have the opportunity to convert them and continue to grow your big family. I mean, cult. And I mean, they're just so feckin' cute, I just wanna save them all. But once you've gained a load of new friends, uh, I mean followers, you also have to ensure they have something to eat, somewhere to sleep, you have to clean up after them so that they don't get sick and die, you can even bless them or give them gifts so that they like you more. It's like a farming and pet sim game that I've always wanted, with the occasional sacrifice and demonic ritual. And the more you do it at the cult base camp, the more your followers will like you, gain faith and level up to build your cult to the next level. I mean, what's not to like? Do I want to please Satan by defeating the gods? Feck yes I do. Do I want to please my followers by making sure they have everything that they need and that they love my little cult base camp like some highly rated B&B? You bet I do! It's like Massive Monster and Devolver Digital knew exactly how to tug on my people pleasing heartstrings. And it's addictive. And here's why. Because not everybody likes you. You're constantly trying to keep everybody happy. Listen, I know we're all in the 2023 age of don't care what other people think. Oh, uh, I don't care. But if you're wired like I am, and someone says, I don't like you, or they take a bit of time to get warmed up, that's like an instant challenge when that happens. And in this game, it happens a lot. Some new followers may be extremely cynical, and if they are, they're harder to win over and will lose faith pretty easily. So I continue to go out of my way to protect the cult, bring them gifts, and deliver the best feckin' evil sermon you'd ever witness. Just to get them all to gain some faith and become more loyal and help build my cult up into one heck of a strong family. However, Every time I die out in a crusade, my followers lose faith and think that I'm weak. You think you're weak? <gasps> oh, I'll fucking, I'll show you. Honestly, that's just so mean. <laughs> like, understandable, sure, but really mean. So now I have to try and win them all back by trying again and coming back victorious. Or, if that fails, an incredibly wicked sermon or declaring a new doctrine usually does the trick. Sometimes they just throw in curveballs and they just make it worse. Like when one follower pits me against another follower, such as asking me to prank another follower by making them eat shit or they'll lose 25 faith points. Oh my god! Oh no, or lose minus 25 faith? No! Ah, it's so mean! It's literally against my soul to make somebody do that, but then minus 25 faith, that's harsh. Like, what kind of mental torture is that? I don't want to make him eat poop, but then I don't want to lose 25 faith points. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? I mean, I did it, obviously. And I got a good reward, so it was kind of worth it. But like, the little lad was so sick, so I had to send him off to some bed rest. Kind of funny, though. <laughs> the game continuously sucks me in with all its wicked twists and turns. The artwork is incredible, the soundtrack is so catchy, and the game style really is just a winner for me. Although some of the bosses can be tricky to beat, the game isn't overly challenging, and its consistent theme of rewards and hindrances continues to pull me back for more. So, what's the crack with Cult of the Lamb? The crack is mighty fantastic game great for all players and especially good for anybody with a little bit of a people pleasing personality like me so definitely give this game a go or or don't that's also okay if if you if you don't want to that's also fine like also maybe you could maybe you could leave a a, a like on this video and and put a comment down below if you've played the game and what you thought of it or or again just or or you don't have to you know uh you <laughs> you do you
Okay? All right. Hope you have a great day. Okay. Okay, bye.